over the years of being a maintenance guy, there's something that I've realized that I've that I've noticed over time. I've noticed the new guys, the young guys that come in this trade, they're they're really friendly with with the tenants. Some of them, of course, we get a little bit of everything, and they promise a lot. They get this. They, they they'll we'll get you this. We'll get you that. Some of the older guys, guys that have been doing this trade for 20 years, 30 years, sometimes they don't care anymore. They just go in there. They do what they got to do. I've I've helped out some of the older. Uh, maintenance guys when I started out and I always thought they were really mean they, they would just knock on the door and walk in and they didn't have any patience for uh, tenants and I've also worked with the younger guys guys that are starting guys that have a different mentality and at this point in my maintenance trade uh, life I guess I don't want to say career it's a it's not really a career it's just it's, it's a job uh, at this point in my life I realize that I'm somewhere in the middle and what happens is when, when I started doing this this trade, I was a contractor before this, and I was used to the customer is always right. So if the customer wanted a brand new refrigerator, they got a brand new refrigerator. If the customer wanted new flooring, new baseboards, they got new baseboards, but they were paying for it. So I was used to that. The customer's always right. When I had a watch repair shop, uh, one of my employees, she said, you know, I had a kind of a little dispute with her because she had promised things that, that were not really reasonable, and she said, I thought the customer was always right. I had told her no. The customer is right when I'm making money. But if there's a customer that I'm not going to be making money as a business owner, I don't even want that customer because the customer is always right when you're making money. But if you're not going to make money and the customer is you know, going to get their way all the time and, and, and they find ways sometimes, then they're not right. And I don't need them as a customer. That's somebody that's going to cost me money, and I have no interest in that. Now, as a maintenance tech, it's different because they're not customers. They're tenants. They're tenants. They're paying their rent. They're renting. They're renting what you have. They're not. They're not buying a custom home. They're not buying a. They'll make it seem. I mean, I want this. I want that. I want that. I don't like that. That doesn't look good. I, I'm paying my rent. I need this done. But at the same time, they're not buying it. They're just renting it. It's like when you go rent a car and it's got a scratch. If you say, "Well, I need you guys to fix that scratch before I I, I use this car." They'll tell you, sir, that's what's available. If you want it, take it. If not, somebody else will take it. Same way as as, as uh, apartments. And I'm not saying don't treat tenants right. I'm not saying that. To me, it's really important to treat tenant, tenants right. But at the same time, you have to realize that you're working for a company and it's a business. And they're, the tenants are tenants, not necessarily customers, because you're not selling them anything. You're renting them. They're, they're, they're renting and you're representing the company. So what I've noticed is some of the new guys, and this is an issue that I've had, I had an issue with a, a, there was a door that was a little bit loose. The maintenance guy that went out there to fix it, he didn't know how to fix it, and he said, well, we need to order the, the whole frame. So I'll go out there, the next time I go out there, and the tenant says, no, 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 no. What, what are you doing? They already told me I need a new frame, so don't worry about you know trying to adjust uh, this door. So she was expecting a new frame because somebody had promised her a new frame. Of course, he didn't know how to install it. He doesn't know what it takes. He just, it was easier for him to promise a new frame. I've been to uh, apartments where where I've, I've, I was at an apartment one time, and uh, one of the techs had taken off uh, the, the back cover of a stove, and he said it, it was dangerous to use, and it had an electrical short. I go out there, and I look at it, and I'm thinking, this is 240 volts. I would have known. We would have, we would have known right away if this was dangerous. And there was nothing wrong with it. He just... Didn't know how to fix it. He didn't know how to fix the stove. It was just the, the heating element for an oven. He didn't know how to fix it. So he told the tenant this. So I go out there, and we have a whole bunch of uh, heating elements. And it was just a matter of replacing the, the heating element. And the lady says, no, I don't want the stove. If you're not going to replace the stove, just leave it. I just, I'd rather be without a stove than with a dangerous stove. And I told her, ma'am, there's nothing dangerous here. It's, it's, I mean, I took pictures of him, of the stove, all, all the wiring. I told her it's completely fine. It, it was just a heating element. That's the only thing, and that's that's something that goes out a lot. We change it. We've never had a problem. But once this guy told her, ma'am, this stove is not safe, To her, and the guy's not even experienced. The guy, he doesn't know what he's doing. He just didn't, didn't know how to fix it, so he said that, and he was going to replace the stove. So I get a lot of those calls. I go to a lot of these work orders where, where people are just promising a lot. They're, they're, they can't fix things, and they promise. One of the solutions that I found for that is, is I tell people now because – and like anybody else, I'm sure you guys are doing the same thing wherever you guys are at, maintenance techs. There's a lot of remodeling going on. So I tell people, ma'am, because they'll tell me, 
I don't know why you're trying to fix it. But I don't want it anymore. And I tell him, ma'am, sir, okay, if you don't want me to fix it, that's fine. I will bring you another another stove, another refrigerator, but it's not going to be a new one. And they, the first thing they asked me, well, what does it look like? Ma'am, I don't know. It, it, we're remodeling. We have some in stock. They're used. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you have a stove, a functional stove, but I'm not going to promise you, you know, anything beautiful or elegant. Or, or It's just going to be a stove that works. Then they change really fast. They start noticing, well, because they like their stove sometimes. Some, some of them are really old when it's a really old appliance and it's not worth fixing. We all understand that's a whole different thing. But I'm talking about things that are still good, that are still repairable, that, that, that are worth fixing. And sure enough, they tell me, well, you know what, then go ahead and fix this one. Because they're, they were thinking they were getting a brand new stainless steel stove or, any, you know, any color. And they're thinking once they have the stove, they're going to see the refrigerator and say, man, this is an old refrigerator. I need a new refrigerator. So you, you have to be really careful on what you promise and what you provide. Everybody has to have a stove, or refrigerator, stuff like that in this business. It, it, we're, we don't have to give them a brand new one. It doesn't have to be that way. There's things that, that are still usable. And, and I tell them, ma'am, I'm going to get you a stove. And it's going to be used because that's what we have in stock right now. And sure enough, they always say. So I always tell uh, maintenance guys, be careful what you promise and be real careful what you agree with because tenants are really, really sneaky. I've had this issue. Um, I, I've, I've been to a place where, you know, a ma- another maintenance guy went already. He looked at a fridge or a stove or, you know, whatever, dishwasher. And he said, and the tenant will say, that's an old stove, right? And the maintenance guy will say, yeah, it's an old stove. After that, the tenant will tell you, well, the maintenance guy, the last maintenance guy that was here, I really trust him. I really like him. I think he knows what he's doing. He said it's a really old stove. And really, I don't want the stove anymore. It's, it's old. It's dangerous. It's not worth fixing. The other guy said, it, it, I don't know why they're putting money into this thing. You know, they, they start creating a story that didn't happen, but, but because he agreed it was an old stove, that, that, that becomes an issue. So what I do, what I tell a uh, uh, tenant, um, maintenance guy, sorry, what I tell maintenance guys, I, when somebody tells you that's an old refrigerator, right, I always tell them what I'd say is, ma'am, I don't know when it was installed, when it was bought. <clears throat> sorry about that. When it was bought, um, we would have to look at the record. I don't have any access to the record right now, but I, honestly, I don't know. You know, I don't I don't know what the age of it. I don't know what year it was, anything like that. So I just, I don't tell tenants it's old. I tell them, you know I can make it work or it's working or it's fine. It's, it's reading these temperatures and, you know, that's it's functional. And I'm not saying, you know, nobody ever gets a new stove, new refrigerator, but that's not our job. Our job is not to hand out stoves and dishwashers and refrigerators. Our job as maintenance techs is to try to fix everything we can. Obviously, it's a business. Uh, one tenant once said, I don't, I don't understand why they don't just buy us a new appliance when we need it. Uh, and I told her, ma'am, then... There's two things. First of all, I wouldn't have a job because, I mean, we're here to fix stuff. That's one thing, which it's okay. I would have a job somewhere else. But your rent would go significantly higher if 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 anybody ever calls just, you know, I need a new refrigerator. So you multiply that times the number of apartments. The owners are not going to buy the refrigerators. You're buying the refrigerator. So, yeah, it could work, but you would be paying a lot of money for that, you know, for everybody having new appliances. Everybody in the community is not going to pay for your appliances. Everybody in the community is going to pay for everybody's new appliances. So I tell her, you know, realistically, the owners are not there. Nobody buys a complex or I own rental properties myself. So that's why I understand this business. I, I didn't buy rental properties to, you know, hand out free appliances to everybody that needs one. I bought, a, I bought properties to make money. That's the only reason why I did the sacrifice, uh, buying properties and, and some Tenants call me at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. I, I got to go, you know, take care of these these things. And it's only because it's a business. I'm, I'm not, I didn't buy these properties to, you know, do handouts. And obviously somebody that's got, you know, multi-million properties, for sure they're not. It's an investment, and, and they're making money from it. And sometimes tenants don't realize they'll tell you, well, I've been paying my rent for years and stuff like that. Another thing that I've noticed is um, maintenance guys will – I want to say, we'll contradict what, what another maintenance guy said. For example, I went to, a, to an apartment and I was looking at a AC system. And, of course, I took all my temperatures. I, I, I logged, you know, what time I got there, what, t- what uh, temperature the apartment was after a few hours of working on it, what I got the apartment to, what it was blowing, it was, uh, 
miles per hour as far as wind speed, uh, cubic foot, how much cubic foot that uh, register was moving. And so I have all these tools that I can do that. And I, so I, 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 I logged everything. I had a complete um, detailed log of what I did in that apartment and, you know, how many hours it took to cool it down, what temperature got it at and everything. So I, I locked it down and it was good. Of course, the tenant, she still complained. And, and another maintenance guy goes and he touches around the register and says, yeah, I don't feel this thing blowing any air. Of course, the tenant, it doesn't matter how much tools I have and what, what I registered. It, that doesn't matter. She said, I don't trust that other guy. The other guy said it's not moving any air and you guys need to do something about it. So, you know, I, 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 I talked to that manager. I asked her, well, how does he know? I mean, what, what, what did he um, measure with? He said, no, he just put his hand over the register. That's, well, what does that mean? I mean, and of course, the tenant, they're not going to question this. They're going to say, yeah, the other guy's right. So be careful if you're a maintenance guy. Older guys, I, I know the guys have been doing this for a long time. They're, they're really specific. They go in there, they do what they got to do, and they're out. But some of the newer guys, it's really easy to promise tenants this and that because you're thinking they're customers, they're paying customers, and they, they deserve all this and that. And I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying they they it's it's not your refrigerator. If you were buying it, you would think about it. It's it's not your um, appliances that 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 you're giving out for free. It's somebody else's and it's a business. And there's always a number, bottom line. And if they're not meeting that number, they're gonna raise rents. You know they're gonna they're gonna do it anyways, but they're gonna raise rents more because now it's costing them more to run that property. And you're not really doing tenants a favor when you're just handing out uh, free appliances. Anyways, that was my video today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.